everyone it's helen here with eldon with helen thanks for joining me for 30 days of thankfulness today is day 23 it is the day before thanksgiving so hopefully everybody got to where you were going safely i know that today is one of the busiest traveling days of the year and i know that firsthand because i used to be a flight attendant and it used to be bananas at the airport <laughs> so i hope that you did genuinely get to where you were going safely here in casper we actually got a little bit of snow just a skiff so far like about an inch but it's deceiving out there because it actually looks light and fluffy but you go to walk on it and it's just like woo you know it's like you could go ice skating <laughs> so be careful out there we're supposed to get two more inches tonight and then I think we're supposed to get a little bit in the morning but I'm okay with it because I don't have to be out in it it looks like a lovely like winter wonderland out there and you know it's it's very seasonal <laughs> it's nice it's pleasant um so I've been inside this evening I've been cooking and I thought what am I going to talk about tonight and well you know what there's never a shortage of things to talk about because I baked a pie and I thought, okay, this pie is going to be amazing. Well, I pulled it out of the oven and everyone was just like, that doesn't look done. That doesn't look good. <laughs> and I'm like, no, 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 it's done. It just needs to cool. So I let it cool and cool and cool some more. I'm like, no, it's, it's something's wrong. <laughs> it's definitely not done. And so I thought, you know, what? we're going to talk about Thanksgiving bloopers because you know how much I love Thanksgiving. But if I'm being completely honest, not every one of my Thanksgivings have been seamless. They, they just haven't. I don't know how many like people's are seamless. So, um, but I had to put the pie back in for another hour which didn't seem right and I think maybe it's okay now <laughs> I did something wrong I don't know what I did so hopefully it's good I don't know hopefully it's good I'll eat it if nothing else I'll eat it it looked good I mean it had a can of pumpkin so I mean you can't go wrong there uh, so pies but um, I've had other moments and I so I got to thinking I'm just like okay I got five or six things that I could probably share where it was just like mm, it wasn't good it wasn't good at all so I go back to about probably 17 years ago we decided that we wanted to travel to Jamaica for Thanksgiving and I know people travel all the time people love to go like on destination vacations for the holidays which you know it sounds really good because I always wanted to too I'm just like oh yeah that'll be amazing I won't have to cook I won't have to do this I won't have to do <laughs> it's not it's never amazing for me I get there and then I'm like I just want to go home and so it's it's I'm ridiculous and so but that's that that was my experience because I got down there and I thought this is gonna be great the first couple days were well then I ended up getting sick I got sick and not just sick but I was like sick sick like I was just like oh no I'm not gonna be able to make it back to the states and the crazy thing is is I don't know why we do this to ourselves to save a buck but we decided that we were gonna travel back on Thanksgiving <laughs> so here we are and we are flying home on Thanksgiving well I'm sick I had to go to a little clinic they had to give me some medicine just to even like get back on board the aircraft because I'm thinking okay I'm gonna be stuck here in this country <laughs> And the airport was so busy. So it was just like about three hours of standing in a line just to get through like the security. And I couldn't even stand up. I was leaning against my suitcase. I kept trying to find a bench. I was leaning on walls. It was horrible and it was hot. There was no air conditioning. So you already know, it's just like, you can feel it. I know you can feel what I was going through here. And so I have no, 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 no desire <laughs> to do that again anytime soon so that would be one that I remember and I'm like no I'm gonna stay home for Thanksgiving yeah I don't really want to travel and then um you know I think of the times and there, there's like obviously several different things you know that always happen with your kids you know it's just like when Lucas was just a baby and he wasn't even like it's like maybe two months old because he was born in October so not even um he ended up getting strep throat and I know everyone's just like strep throat that's not likely I know it's not because we were on the phone with the children's hospital that night it was Thanksgiving I thought he just had a little tiny crud but then he just started burning up with a fever and he got really red, really hot. And he was crying and crying and crying. He was miserable. And so then we um, ended up getting him swabbed the next day. And obviously he had strep throat and then the children's hospital had to get involved. And because it's very unlikely for a baby to get strep throat and especially, you know, it's just like a month old. So it was horrible. And so that was another thing, you know, that happened to us over a Thanksgiving. So, you know, those things happen though. Kids get sick. Like right now, and it's like there are people sick left and right all around us. It's just like, oh. Ah, there's a lot going on this is just the normal crud it's that time of year but it's just like stay away um so we're hoping nobody does you know that's that's our prayer so I think about that year and then I also think about you know <laughs> I, I made a video on this a few years ago it would probably been two years ago maybe when our yellow lab decided to get into the garage well we actually ran an errand the turkeys were out there you know where, where we're going with this the raw turkeys the big turkeys and we thought they were kind of up on the shelf and we just had to run like 10 minutes like I think it was to the store we had to get something like butter or something and so we left the house we come back we 
open the garage and our lab had eaten an entire raw turkey. Like the whole thing, bones, you name it, gone. The only thing that was left on the ground was the wrapper and she lived. <laughs> she is alive. She is downstairs right now as I speak. So it's just like, that is crazy. She was super sick. We didn't even have to take her to the vet. I know you're thinking you should have. I mean, we should have, but the only thing she did was puke for a couple of days and have some yucky, you know, so, but she, she made it. She made it. She's done that before though. You know, she not only did she eat that whole turkey that year, she has eaten like steaks while we've been camping. She's gotten into like the cover and eaten like the steaks because we've hide them now. She's smart. She'll get in there. She'll get to them. So now I have to lock them up. Everything has to be locked up. So it is. I have been defrosting the turkeys over the last several days. I see her eyeballing them because she wants them again. I'm like, mm -mm, she's not getting me this time. I've been having to lock her up when I leave because I already know what was going to happen. So that actually did happen though. And that's horrible. And um, it was a little late to go get a new turkey. So we just, we had two turkeys that we were going to do. We were going to do one in the oven. We were going to do one deep pot fried like we are this year. Well, we only got to do the one in the oven and that was that. So, you know, well, there was plenty. I mean, I, <laughs> at least we had two. Because had we not had two, that would have been, that would have been sad. That would have been really sad. We could have had sandwiches. That's what we would have had to have. So, so that happened that year. And then let's see what else I wrote on my little list here. Um, oh, okay. Another year. It was the first year that we decided that we were going to host it. And I don't even remember why we thought we needed to host Thanksgiving because my mom had always done it, mom and dad and <laughs> family. But it was like, we got this bright idea like, oh yeah, we'll do Thanksgiving. Maybe it was our second year. Yeah. I, now that I think about it. Um, but Brian decided that he wanted to use the convection oven for the first time. Just, you know, just like on a whim, you know, we'd never used it. <laughs> and I'm sure it is easy. I mean, I don't know. But he was just like, oh, you know what? We're going to use the convection oven this year. And, um, you know, it's going to be a great idea. And I was just like, I don't really think it's a good idea. I don't really want to do that because, you know, <laughs> I wanted to do it with, I wanted to do it how I knew to do it. You know, it was just like, especially on a holiday. I'm just like, no, 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 no. We're, I, now's not the time to be messing around. We have people coming over. I kind of get a little crazy. And um, he was just like, no, no, it's going to cut the time in half, you know? And it's just like, he, he acted as if he had done it like a hundred times and I'm like okay well whatever well so all the guests arrive everybody's starving he told them what time to be there and um <laughs> the turkey comes out and everything was okay on the edges and then all of a sudden he starts cutting through and you it was like pink and bloody the turkey wasn't done the turkey wasn't done and people had already started scooping it on their plates and they were eating it <laughs> We're eating it already. So it's like, hmm, sorry. And so there was nothing we could do there. I don't even think we threw it back in the oven. People just ate some of the sides and then the rest ended up just, you know, whatever. But so that happened and people had the pink and, you know, and then they were kind of picking at it and they're like, oh, this is really good. And it was like, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. It was bloody and gross. <laughs> you know, well, I'm glad it didn't kill them because, you know, you get really sick from that stuff. So that was another Thanksgiving blooper. And then um, my son and I were talking tonight. I think this would probably be the last one. I don't know if this one's like really a blooper, but I thought that this was kind of cute um, because I used to always on Thanksgiving like to dress him up, you know, of course, when he was young. I always made sure that he had on a nice button up shirt and, you know, was like in his little jeans and stuff. And he always wanted to look like grandpa because grandpa wore jeans and he always wore button up shirts. So he was always like, I'm going to look like grandpa. And so he always had that. And so every Thanksgiving I would get him all ready, his little like hair side combed and get him in his little button up shirts and make sure he looked all like sharp. And this particular Thanksgiving, I don't know, we laughed about it tonight, but he was just like, I don't know, but you, <laughs> you must have been really grumpy. He goes, because I remember that one vividly, mom. And I'm like, I don't remember being grumpy, maybe a little high strung. I don't know. But um, I got him all ready. I thought he looked super handsome. And then all of a sudden um, he made a comment like, I don't want to wear this shirt. And I'm like, well, you're wearing this shirt. You don't want to wear it. And then of course, then dad had to get involved. And he was just like, well, if he doesn't want to wear it, then he doesn't have to wear it. And I'm like, no, he's wearing that shirt. <laughs> And so then it turned out to be this thing and he was crying and freaking out. And I'm like, fine, don't wear it. And then I just took the shirt and I'm like, Kah! and I like ripped the little buttons and it, it was horrible. That was probably the worst thing I did do. <laughs> I was mad. And I was like, now I look back, I'm like, oh, that was ridiculous. Why would you rip the little buttons off that little shirt? You know, just because he didn't want to wear it. But anyways, we, we can laugh about it now. I'm sure at the time it wasn't quite as cute. I was just feeling like frustrated because I tried so hard, made an effort and went about that cool shirt and of course you know I felt rejected 
<laughs> that's what was going on that day. I was, I was feeling rejected. I thought all of my hard work wasn't being noticed. So anyways, those are some of my Thanksgiving stories. If you have any of your own, um, just whatever they are, yeah, shoot them down in the comment box. I would love to hear them because, you know, we all have them and I'm sure that we will probably have some more hopefully not you know hopefully my my pie is the worst of it this year and like I said I have got um the house kind of staged where the lab can't get to the turkey or anything else and I don't know what else could go wrong um maybe well <laughs> you know it just popped in my head is that we are deep fat frying a turkey and there's videos all over online on what can go wrong there. So, and that is always one of my fears. I'm just kind of like, be careful while you're out there frying that turkey. <laughs> I could already see it. I can see it. So it's like, it's like vivid and, and I don't want to like put anything out there because I do believe in the power of words, but genuinely, I'm just kind of like, I don't know. Anytime you got boiling oil and you're throwing a big bird in there, it's just like, just be careful. Just be careful. <laughs> just be careful. So anyways, that, that could go wrong hopefully it doesn't but um, I will make a video tomorrow and maybe I'll just kind of give you guys a little sneak peek of what we got going on here maybe of the feast so I hope that you all have a wonderful evening cheers and hopefully everybody is just really really enjoying your time with your friends and family your loved ones and hopefully you are eating some yummy snacks tonight too have a good night bye